Vermont businesses are saving money on energy. Vermont Glove is a leather glove uh, manufacturer. We, we manufacture heavy-duty work gloves and general-use work gloves and lineman protector gloves for utility companies across the U.S. We wanted to make some improvements to, this, to our building and both for the warmth of the building as well as for the energy efficiency of the building. So we called Efficiency Vermont and they came in and did a walkthrough with us really identified what was quickest and easiest and then what was going to have the biggest impact and then they even incentivized it for us so we wanted to do it. We stayed relatively warm by putting as many BTUs to the building as possible and bringing up the ambient temperature of Randolph a few degrees every year so when we were burning coal we had no real control over the temperature and how much coal we were burning at a time. And then there was also a labor factor associated with the coal boiler where I had to dump the ash bucket morning and night of every day of the winter. With that said, we were spending $15,000 a year to heat this building with coal. And we had a not a very warm building. And we had a massive carbon footprint, <laughs> which was, you know, just unsettling for me sleeping at night. So. When we transitioned to pellets, after all the insulation and air sealing efforts, our cash layout for uh, heat source was three and a half thousand dollars. So we went from fifteen thousand dollars to three and a half thousand dollars in one year. We transitioned the coal boiler to a pellet boiler. We received sixty percent air leakage reduction, so we really tightened up the building. We insulated the entire building with cellulose, and then we added a solar array on the roof. So I had a lot of people who I was working with at Efficiency Vermont, and the real advantage was is that I was getting an expert uh, on whatever um, question I had on my mind at that time. The real value was there was that we could really figure out what was the best fit for our space, our budget, our return on investment, um, and, and ultimately how we feel about our carbon pollution. My advice would be call Efficiency Vermont firstly and use the resources that are out there and around the state that can help you achieve what may seem like too daunting of a task or, or um, too daunting to overcome. So there are resources, there are experts, and they make it a lot easier. Get your free small business energy consultation. Visit efficiencyvermont.com slash bizconsult.